What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 Predicts IPL fixture number 37 Chennai Super Kings versus Rajasthan Royals. Who's going to win this game? Honestly, I want Chennai to win. I like Chennai, I like Dhoni, I want him to do well. It's going to be pretty much the last time he plays cricket, international cricket. That it, well, it's technically not international, but you know what I mean, on a big forum. And so I want him to go out with a bang, so I want Chennai to win this one, to be honest. Uh, not just the game, but the whole IPL. Although I do like Kolkata as well, and I want them to do well. But I think Rajasthan's going to win. I'm not going to lie. I want Chennai to win, but Rajasthan's going to win, I think. And uh, do let me know who do you think is going to win. As always, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And now let's jump straight into the video. All right, here we go. Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. Chennai Super Kings. There is the There are the lineups for the two sides. Sam Curtin's been promoted up the order. Is he going to be the next Ben Stokes? Well, he, speaking of Ben Stokes, by the way, he's uh, playing for Rajasthan now. So uh, it's going to be the battle of the two all-rounders. The youngster, up-and-coming young English all-rounder, Sam Curran, and then the hero of the summer, Ben Stokes. All right, so Rajasthan have won the toss, selected to ball first. Joff Fred over the balling, Faf to place the face of first delivery. That's a lovely hook to start things off with. That's just going to be one run. First up, easy does it. Just like that. All righty then, he wanted a second. Yep. Well, that's too full. That was a half volley. That was there to be put away pretty quick. 151, nearly 152 Ks. The line was off. And that could gets a thick outside yeah. edge. Travels straight into the hands of the fielder. And that's the end of the dangerous Shane Watson. Watto is gone. A lovely out swinger that was a bit of late movement that's what's caused the out um outside edge he went hard at it got a thick outside edge if he used soft hands maybe well i think it would have been would have traveled to either the keeper or the slip so either way would have been out that's a lovely hook out of the gap that's surely going to race over to the boundary for four and it does lovely bit of batting 11 he's on of nine ah oh, top hedge over Josh Butler. Nothing he can do. Oh, way too wide. It's gone over point. Oh, he's nearly cleared the road for six runs. Beautiful shot for four. 24 brings up. It's going to be a low scoring run because, uh, well, that's pretty much the case in Abu Dhabi in uh, Dubai. It's the opposite in Sharjah. Sharjah is a high scoring ground, it's a smaller boundary. A full toss is not going to cut it. He just flicked it away, though. Could have gone for it, but you know what? He kept it simple. Got a couple of runs. Good running between the six. Again, full toss. He's gone for it. In extra cover this time. Don't think he'll stop it. Quick outfield. It races away. The ball just did not want to stop now, did it? That's a lovely slash on the offside. Third man trying to cut it off. He will not be able to cut it off. Not in time. Joffre not happy with himself. There he goes again. This time. A little forward of point. And uh, yep, no deep point. So that'll be four. That's a lovely shot over the inner circle into extra cover. Faf to place. He's looking good. Getting closer and closer to the 50 mark. Just 25 runs away. 15, sorry. There it is. Lovely. 11 more runs. And he'll get yet another 50. Faf has been fafulous. It's been so good. It's a lovely shot. It's gone at a bit of a low of a strike rate, but that should definitely help creep up the strike rate and the run rate. Well, there he goes again. He's liking that cut shot. And with that, he'll go to 100 strike rate for the first time in this game. That's good, but he needs to go at a lot higher than just 100. Run a ball. But he's going at less than that, even. We'll just get a single faff. And there it is. Yet another 50. Such a classy batsman. So much experience. Experience batting and also leading. Proteus International, 50 of 32. That's a lovely shot into extra cover. Make it 54 of 33. 
Oh, that's a solid hit from Brayudu. Finally, he's gone for it. He needs to pick up the pace, man. It's all after Polisi. He's done not. There it is. There it is. That's more like it. A bit more of that. A bit more of that, please. It's a great shot. Grounded shot from Faf. And that's going to be for 60 of 36 deliveries. That's going to be straight to the field. And the field that takes it. And that's the end of Faf. Faf's fabulous innings comes to an end. Ben Stokes strikes. It's an easy catch in the end. He didn't even have to move. Literally just stood where he was. But a brilliant innings comes to an end. Deserves all the applause he gets. 61. Beautiful. Sam Curran, the youngster from England, comes out to bat now. Oh, trying to be a bit too cheeky. And I think he's lost his wicket. No, he's not. It's been dropped. There's a reason they say catches win matches. Look at that. He's trying to clear the inner circle. He wasn't looking for the boundary. He just wanted to rotate the strike. Did not get a hold of it, though. Yes. There you go. The two English all-rounders going head-to-head. -head. Sam Curran gets on top this time around. But what will happen on the very next delivery? It's going to be a fun battle. Yes. There he goes again. Sammy. All right. So far, he's on top. He's doing well. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a beautiful shot. That's uh, a very good shot. That's going to be four. 16 of nine. He moves on to. Sam's looking all right. Oh! Too close to his body. Rayudu gone for less than a runner ball. I have to say that's poor batting in a T20. It's pretty good. I mean, if it was an ODI, I would applaud that because that's a pretty good innings in an ODI, but in a T20, it's just not good enough. You have to go over a 100 strike when he was going below it. He has scored a lot of runs, though. 43 has scored a lot of runs. It's just taken him a bit too many deliveries. Thony. Oh, straight back to Jofra. And that's the end of Sam Curran. It took an Englishman to de defeat the other Englishman, Sam Curran. Although Joffre originally is from the Caribbean, but he plays for England, so he is an Englishman in the world of cricket. 22, he goes for 19 deliveries. Ravindra Jadeja comes out to bat now. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's a very classic shot from Jadeja. It's going to be four runs. Yep. All right, he's go, going for it again. Same shot, same area, same result. Double digits. Here we go, Jadeja. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, lovely shot. New extra cover. There's two fielders. Yep, one of them cuts him off. Oh, that's going to be a close one. Oh, if it was a direct hit, it was going to be very close, but it wasn't. It's going to be a difficult one. I mean, he just threw it back from the boundary line. That's the end of that innings. 146 in 20 deliveries. Now, um, I would say they're about 10 runs short, maybe 20 runs. But uh, let's see how they defend it. I mean, if they can bowl well and they can defend this one, then have to be sharp in the field. Sharp with a ball, very tight line. Cannot afford too many wayward deliveries. And I have to make sure they hang on to any and every opportunity they get. Shardul Takur to open the bowling. Benjamin Stokes to face the first delivery. All right, he's tried to drive it straight on. And that's straight to Meron. It's just a dot. Oh, thick outside edge, that'll help. That's runs. He'll take it. Four runs, first boundary. Oh, lovely push down the ground between the two fielders. None of them are giving up the chase. Will the ball win the race? No, it will not. He's chased it down. Lovely bit of work in the field. And it's a direct hit. All righty then. It's beautiful. 
Benjamin Andrew Strauss. Did I just call him Andrew Strauss? Andrew Stokes. <laughs> Josh Butler. Uh oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, and it's a direct hit. Well, he's definitely gone now. If there yeah. was any doubt, the direct hit has taken any of it out. Joshy Butt Butt on his way back to the dugout. Steve the Smudgester Smith. Skipper today. It's a lovely shot from Benjamin. Straight down the ground. He's got all of it. No, not all of it to clear the rope. But has got all of it. Got a four. Beautiful batting. Smudger. Inside edge. Oh, gone for a golden one. A very fast delivery. Late movement there from the bowler. And Smith had no answer. Look at that. Slight inside edge. Dhoni latched onto it. One-handed catch. Dove to his left. Good. Good keeping. Smudger gun for a golden one. Not a great day for him. Sanju Sampson is the next batsman to walk out in the middle. Oh, that's a head and a half. That is a solid hit. That's nearly gone all the way for six. Beautiful. Oh, that's a slight outside edge. It's going to be a four. It is a four. Lovely. Eight runs of four. Oh, that's not a great shot. Straight to the fielder. Final leg takes it. Uh, that's the end of Samson. He's gone for eight out of five. He was looking good. He was looking aggressive. He's taking the initiative. But uh, he's lost his wicket here now. Too little, too late. Not much can be done now. Not for Sanju, at least. Sanju gone for eight. All right, Ryan Parag, next batsman to walk out for Rajasthan. That's a lovely shot, that's a solid hit. One bounce, four. Good stuff. There he goes again, that's uh, over cover, that's a beautiful shot. Parag is loving that cover area. He's got two boundaries. Flick of the wrist, all timing, that's all that is. Not tried to over hit it, just flicked it. Yes. It's a lovely hook. Into the cow corner, they've got a deep mid wicket, but he is nowhere near the ball, and so it races away to the boundary for four. Ben Stokes is out there still. Started the innings for him, and he's still out there. It's a good shot from Parag. Over the inner circle, that'll be four runs. It's looking all right, looking good. Pretty even at the moment. Don't really know who's going to take the game. It's a good shot from Parag over the inner circle level before it runs. If these two can build a partnership. Oh, that's a close one. The impact's us out of off, so the umpire is going to give an odd out, but it's definitely going on to hit the stumps, in which case I think it should be given out, but those aren't the rules. The rule states that it, the impact has to be in line. They have reviewed it. I don't think that's a great review considering the current rules. The impact needs to be in line. It's not in line, even if it's in the stump, so it'll still be not out. Like I said, I disagree with that rule wholeheartedly, but uh, I'm not the rule maker, so it doesn't really matter in the end. No, it does it. There it is. Hitting the stumps, it should be out, but it's not. And it'll remain not out. Oh, straight back to Dwayne. Alrighty then. Harag's gone. Gone for 19 of 15. DJ Bravo. Try to just push it down the ground. Failed. He's gone for 19. He was looking all right. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was going to go on to do really well. Going to get maybe even a 50. But no, not to be. Robin Atapa comes out to bat now. Yes. That's a good shot over cover. Two fielders. He's found the middle of both. Lovely. Robin. Robin Hood Pandey finding ways to steal runs. Just like Robin Hood. Lovely bit of work. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, he's made it back. That was a throw to a wrong end. Is that another con ball from Dwayne? Hey, yes, it is. 
DJ Bravo does not need anyone's help. He's doing it all on his own. Bowling it, catching it. He does it all. And sing as well as dance. What is there that he cannot do? I don't think there's anything he cannot do. Chulwil Pandey is gone and Rahul Tiwati comes out to bat. That's a good shot into the gap. they will be gone for four. Yep. 33 from Ben Stokes. It's good to see him in four more. That's a lovely shot from Rahul straight down the ground. But it's lovely to see Ben in form. He didn't have the greatest of start in the start of the IPL. Oh! Dropped it, got his hand to it, the fielder, but couldn't hang on to it, and it's raced away to the boundary before Sam Curran is not happy at all. That's a good shot straight down the ground from Rahul. It's going to race away to the boundary for four. Rahul's taking the charge on as well now. We've got Stokes at one end, Rahul at the other. It's a good combo. Uh oh, straight to the fielder. I knew he was in trouble. When he bend the knee, like Jon Snow. <laughs> Never bend the knee. Remain the king in the north forever. All right, anyways. Uh, Rahul's gone for 17 or 14. All right, Joffre, now he can whack him hard. Rajasthan, I mean, not doing bad. It's just that they haven't got too many wickets left. The only batsman really to get going is Ben Stokes, who's still out there, honestly, but... You know, what can one man really do? I mean, it is Ben Stokes, let's be honest. He has turned games around on his own before, so he can do it here as well. Yes. And then Joffre's looking good. He's got a couple of boundaries already. He's rotating the strike, although that might not be a great decision here. Well, it's not, because I think that's the end of Ben Stokes. I think that might be the end of Benjamin Stokes, eh? Oh, that's a close one. It's a very close one. Oh, no, he's safe. All right, Stokes, he's quick. He's very quick. I love his diamond bat. Safe, all right, not out. Switcheroo, out of the gap. Have got a fielder on the road. They're gonna push for the second, not a great decision, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> direct hit is always tricky. In this case, well, it's not really tricky. It's just a straight, yep, it's gone. It's a beautiful throw from the boundary line, side on. One wicket is all he sees, and he's got it. That is fantastic. Dismiss Jofra Archer. Luckily for Rajasthan, Ben Stokes is still on strike as Jofra has lost his wicket. Joff can be very useful as well towards the end of the innings. He's got that ability to clear the rope. That's a good shot. I think he's found the middle of the two fielders. Yes, he has all before. That is just what they need. Ben Stokes getting so close to his half ton. Who runs away? Oh, what's that edge? He will not get it because that is the end of Benjamin Stokes. Gone for 48. <laughs> Jadeja strikes. Stokes walks. Jadeja comes out on top here in the battle of the all rounders. And it's not looking good for uh, Rajasthan now. They haven't got too many batsmen left now. Well, I don't think they've got any left, to be honest. Jadev Vanatkar is not a batsman. Neither is Shreyas Gopal. Although Vanatkar just played a lovely shot, proper cricketing shot over the inner circle for four runs, nonetheless. Oh, that's a close one. I think it's out. <laughs> Look at Dhoni trying to get the stomping. Umpire says no, I think it should have been given out all right okay whenever they show the hawkeye on their own it's always out so the empire's made a mistake yep he's made a mistake like i said it looked out to me it is out the empire should have given it they should have reviewed it they've done neither so we'll just remain as well nothing happened just a dot yeah. one step too many to the offside exposing his stump middle stump out and about back to the dugout just like the batsman is as well cartwheeling although the batsman isn't really cartwheeling jadev is gone for just 10 runs of 11. kartik tiagi is the next batsman to walk out that's a lovely flick of the wrist 
Need 16 of four. They're pushing for the second one. Run out opportunity. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. I think he is gone. The umpire's going to refer it to the third umpire. Because that's a close one. He doesn't want to give it out, but he's gone. Yep. Because uh, if that is out, which it is, that is the end of the game. Because that's the last wicket for Rajasthan. And that is very well fielded. Very, very well bowled by Chennai. And Chennai have won the game. What seemed like a small total well plenty enough to win the game they've won it by 14 runs Dwayne Bravo got them out of the match very good performance with a ball he's good in the field as well overall superstar performance that is what Quicker 19 thinks they think Chennai is going to win I hope Chennai wins as well but I think Rajasthan is going to win do let me know who do you think is going to win the comments down below as always if you enjoyed the video do drop a like hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and also do consider becoming a channel member as well and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Sam Curran, by the way, how he's been batting up the order. I quite like it. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.